So, you want to see explosions make a tube fly really high up in the sky? That's great. But unfortunately, we can't just pour gunpowder into a tube and light it, light it on fire and then expect it to work. So, to make sure that that does work, uh, we use Open Rocket. For starters, you're going to need to download it. It isn't very taxing on system, so you shouldn't have to worry about that. A potato could run it. So, you just, in order to download, you just have to Google Open Rocket download and you click on the second link. Click here and then it'll download as any file would. After that, simply open it up. Now, I would guess that most of you have seen a rocket before. Uh, it has a nose cone, then a body tube, and then the engine. This rocket is no different. Uh, so on the upper right-hand panel, we have all of our parts. Uh, you can see the body tube, nose cone, all, all the different parts you'd need. So let's start by creating a body tube. You simply click, and you can see that it opens up in the field down here, and also in the outliner in, on the left. The menu that has just popped up, this is where you can make all of the changes to each component. Now for starters, we're just going to select one from a database. Um, now, when you get ready to actually build your first rocket, you're gonna have to ask Mr. Mills what we have available. But in general, we have the Estes tubes available. And for starters, we'll just start with a 3089 right here. So simply click OK, and the tube magically appears. After that, just hit close, and this is the body tube we'll start with. Uh, a little bit later, more tutorials will go more in depth about uh, the, the different options there. Next, let's add an inner tube where the engine will sit. Now, in order to add the inner tube, make sure that you click on body tube in the outliner up here. And then you simply click on the inner tube button here. Now again, a uh, configuration menu will open up. And once again, we're going to select a preset. This time, scroll down again to the SDs section and select the 30376, which is this one here. Now, to add in a motor, simply go to the Motor tab, click this component is a motor mount. Uh, and in future videos, you'll talk about which motor you want to select and how to put in all that stuff. But for now, let's just continue on. Now let's start playing with these. It is very easy to change up the length when we're actually building a rocket because we can just cut the tubes. So you can make it whatever size you want. To make the component shorter, all you have to do is either use the slider and just scoot it down, or you can type in uh, exactly how long you want it. Now, let's add a centering ring, which will keep the inner ring, the inner tube, sorry, from moving around during flight. So simply go to the body tube where the centering rings will be, and you simply click the centering ring button. Uh, after that, you go down here to relative position, and you can move that forward and backwards. Put it to where you'd like it, then hit close. Next, you simply make a second centering ring and put it where you would like it. Hit close, there you go. Now, after that, let's put in a motor block. So when you put your engine in, this will go in front of it to keep the engine from going through the entire rocket instead of making the rocket go up, which is traditionally a bad thing in rocket design, as you may guess. Uh, so simply click on the inner tube and then click engine block and move it to where you'd like it. Now for this piece, you need to make sure that you increase the wall thickness. Uh, after you've finished editing that, you simply close it, and that is your engine block done. 
Now, finally, for this tutorial, we are going to add on the nose cone. To do that, you simply make sure that you have either the sustainer or body tube selected, then click the nose cone button. Uh, of course, you may have noticed here that the nose cone is not exactly where it probably should be. Traditionally, the nose cone is at the front of the rocket. Uh, and we're not, we're not going to be doing anything different. Uh, so all you have to do is click the move up button. Uh, and there you go. Now, uh, after that, simply double click on either the piece down here or in the outline to bring the menu back up and add in a shoulder. Now the shoulder sticks back into the rocket so that it doesn't wobble around before it takes off. Um, so you simply increase the length of the shoulder and the diameter and make sure that the diameter is about equal to the inner diameter of the body tube. And there you have it. Those are the basics of how to use Open Rocket. Future tutorials will cover things like parachutes, fins, and engines. But for now, that's all you need to know.